Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Most of you guys are probably from this video because the other video may not have worked as effectively for you. Well, in this video, I will be showing you another method which will hopefully boost your download speeds. In this video, I will be showing you how to improve your speeds on Epic Games Launcher and download any game faster, so Fortnite, GTA, Rocket League, you name it. In my current example, I'm downloading Hue, a small sized game, which allows me to show you guys the results in real time. Now, before we jump into that, if you guys are still stuck even after doing the method or need help in doing so, you can join my discord where a member of my team will gladly help you. Also, consider subscribing if you will. But with that out of the way, let's get started. So as you can see from the side by side comparison, the boost isn't tremendously fast where it's unreal. All you're getting is a slight boost of a couple of megabits, for me at least. If you guys experience a greater boost, let me know in the comments below. This method that I'm about to show you prioritizes Epic Games Launcher over everything. So depending on your PC specs, you may see some instability in some applications. But if you've got a mid-range PC, then you should be fine. To do this, open Task Manager by holding down the Shift key and Control key together. Then press Escape. The Task Manager should now pop up. If it hasn't, then you can try the other way by holding down the Control and Alt key together, then pressing Delete. Mind you, the Delete key is in the Backspace key, the one with the arrow on it. You're looking for the key that has Delete written on it. Once Task Manager is open, open Epic Games Launcher or if it's already open, then that's good. But from here on onwards, make sure Epic Games Launcher is open all the time. Otherwise, you'll have difficulties in doing this method. So once Task Manager is open, head over to the Details tab, then look for Epic Games Launcher. An easy way to do this is select any software on screen, then continuously press the E key until you have found the Epic Games Launcher. Once you have found Epic Games Launcher, right click it. This will bring up a bunch of options. The only setting we're messing with is the priority one. So hover over set priority or select it. In doing so, a list of options will appear ranging from real time to low. Whatever you do, do not select real time. A real time priority can never be preempted by time interrupts and runs at a higher priority than any other thread in the system. As such, a CPU bound real time priority can ruin your PC. So the option we're going for is high. Once selected, your download speed may stop for a while, but give it some time to calibrate. If your speeds still haven't changed, then try restarting Epic Games Launcher as this worked for me upon restarting. But double check that the priority is still set to high, because it may reset back to normal upon restarting. And that's all there pretty much is to it. Make sure to let me know in the comments below if it has worked for you or not. Subscribe for more, but anyway, stay tuned.